Hi there. In this episode, we're going to go over some features of the Boss Admin. Now, the Boss Administrator, you can only access if you have uh, Super Operator level access or higher. And uh, if you do, great. If not, then uh, this isn't for you. Uh, so what some things you can look here you've got users where you can go in and you can go in and create new users delete users change their passwords uh, all, all in this area here if I want to click on a user I can go in here I can change their description uh, their authorization level and things like that I haven't gone through and done any of that yet but uh, it's all possible here materials I can go in and create materials I've got my 5052 I've got my stainless 304, I've got my steel. I can go in here and grab a sheet thickness. So say I want to go down here at uh, 03937 and uh, I can go in at my uh, bend angle, 70 degrees. My bend deduction would be 0 0.310. So if I wanted to change that, I can go in here and just type in a new number. So say I, I measured my plan and say, you know what, my bend is actually 0.3. I can go in and change that. I can change my radius factor as well if, if I found out I was getting a different radius than uh, what was in the database. Yeah, I can go in here and any material on here I can just click on it. If this one here for example there's only two in there so that means only are three. So only three coupons have been done and uh, those are the calculated setbacks for each one. So you can go in there and look these up. You can change them over, and uh, but be careful though, because that's going to change your flat blank layout. So, so be very careful in this area. You know, the machine contours, there's nothing really to adjust in there. Uh, not for the average user anyways. Uh, I'm not going to save the changes when I go to this other area. Back age fingers, there's really not much to change. Uh, bending aids, you either have it or you don't. Angle measuring system, you have it or you don't. But top tools, now top tools you can. Now here's our three top tools. I've got the parking wood that it comes with. I've got an 033 gooseneck and a BIU 031 acute punch. Now one thing I would change in here is you can scroll down on this here. And what I'm looking for, I've got tool type, it's straight, it's wheel of tooling, that's head bearing, not that I would change any of that stuff. Head bearing means that uh, all the load is bared on the head, not the shoulder. Okay, I can keep, I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom here. And now I've got my maximum load, I would never mess with that because that is uh, determined by wheel of what the maximum load is capable of. And as long as you put in the correct width of your part, uh, the brake will be smart enough not to exceed the tonnage on that. So I've got my minimum bend angle 30 degrees which is the angle of the punch. Not a whole lot I can do there. Uh, one thing I would change though that you can is I can go edit on the segments and what I do is I like to keep track of all the segments that we've purchased. So of each of the different lengths I can go in here and type in the number that we have so as we receive them in, I can change these numbers so that way there when I'm programming, it'll then tell me if I have enough tooling to finish the task or not. This data down here is just all the data required if you wanted to draw this part. It really doesn't have any use at all. Now the other area I can go, I can go into my bottom tools. And I've got all my bottom tools I've got here, so I can grab this one here. And I can go down to the very bottom. And again, I can hit edit. I can edit the quantity of tools. One other thing you can do in here, but be very, very careful. Uh, you've got your minimum sheet thickness and your maximum sheet thickness. So I can change this number here. If I said, you know what, my minimum sheet uh, by wheel is 03937, I could say, you know what, I'm going to run anything. Uh, 0.020. So anything less than 20,000. So I, I want to be able to use this tool if for some reason I wanted to. Uh, my max sheet thing, I can change this as well. If say I had uh, some, you know, right now it's capped out at 0689. I could say I had uh, some 074. And I say, you know what? I'm going to fudge it a few thousands. I can change this to 074. And now it's going to allow me to run material thickness up to 074. 
but again, you know, I would never recommend changing your max load because it's still going to use the max load so you don't blow up your tooling on that.